Smith County, Texas. We've seen any great time of State Trooper Joe Hogue tries to flag down a couple on a motorcycle for not wearing helmets. But this tandem twosome isn't sticking around for a ticket. 95 miles an hour. The trooper moves in close, and that's when he sees it. The woman shoots Hogue a terrified glance. The officer now fears she's an unwilling participant in the chase. And it's about to get a lot more dangerous. I'm at 120 and I'm, uh, I'm right behind him. The biker misses an oncoming truck by mere feet. 100 miles an hour, still westbound on this county road. Hogue fears a catastrophe is just one wrong turn away. Unfortunately, the trooper's suspicions are dead on. So they've wrecked out on FM 1892. The maniac cuts right, straight toward a stop pickup, and loses it. Unpadded bodies slam onto the blacktop. Amazingly, the driver jumps to his feet and tries to get back in the chase. He's quickly cuffed. Hogue then turns his attention to the injured woman. 1493, Tyler, give me an ambulance. Where are you hurting? Where are you hurting? Incredibly, both riders survive with only scrapes and bruises. Everything I can see is just your scraped up, okay, from the pavement. I don't see anything that appears to be broke, okay? <laughs> the suspect, Larry James, ran because he had a suspended license. For that, he'll spend the next year in jail. As for his girlfriend, this near-death experience should have taught her a lesson about riding without a helmet. Miles an hour. But just one year later, she's charged with the same offense.